What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We have two Rebel Clash ETBs. One of them we're going to be opening, and the other, actually, we're going to start a giveaway for this week uh, for a Rebel Clash ETB. So if you want to enter to win one of these, uh, stay tuned for the details. Let's get cracking into this box. And Rebel Clash, so far, really enjoying this set. It seems playing some online feels like the biggest hits are the boss's order by far and then the most the strongest v max is that dragapult uh during streams for a few matches i have been playing rillaboom which actually been a lot of fun and i do feel like it's pretty strong among other rebel clash lists but uh not sure if it can compete against the dragapult oh what's this uh actually i guess they no we have the regular book Oh, this is just the card game rules, and then you have your usual typical big book. We got our eight packs, and yes, that's stuff we're kind of used to. I do really like this dice. I like how they switch to this. So instead of having, you know, so many dice for when you have Pokemon with 300 plus health HP, now you can just use a couple dice. Got a typical thing of energies. I will say that, I don't know, Raja is pretty cool, but was this the best mascot for these ETBs? I do like the yellow, and actually that's not bad, but uh, given how strong the Dragapult VMAX is, maybe that would have been a cooler option. Uh, that's just my own thought. So yeah, that's kind of like what we're looking for, the Dragapult and of course the boss's order. I think we're pretty good on Rillaboom. That's definitely one thing I'll be playing at like League and stuff uh, once we can get back to League. But definitely not the strongest. I was getting to pack one. Beware. Hello, Sand. Tenna. Scyther. Nose Pass. Then, once again, there are some good, um, kind of like uncommons, like Scoop Up Net comes to mind. Magmore, this card is interesting. So, 80 plus, each player discards the top card of their deck. This attack does 100 more damage for each energy card discarded that way. So, your own one you can manipulate with Oranguru. Uh, the opponent's one, I'm sure there's ways, but that's kind of like maybe more steps than necessary. Oranguru is pretty can useful even when you don't have Magmortar. So, pretty car cool card right here. Part of me wants to try that out. And you do have to evolve it, but for three energy, that is doable on a single turn with the help of Welder. But yeah, if you do play the the card game, let me know what decks you've been trying out so far or which ones you do want to try. It does feel like when just grinding the ladder, I'll still stick with my ADPZ just because I don't have the Dragapult. And I don't think Rillaboom will be able to compete. We have a Mr. Mime and then the Butterfree. All right, guys, with these ETBs, we only get eight packs, so hopefully we get at least one ultra rare, ideally a texture card, obviously. But given that there is a just as good prize in the hollow slots with boss's orders, we'll be definitely satisfied with that. Scoop up net, very good. There is maybe the best uncommon of this set. Wondering how quickly that will be banned, or if it will be banned and expanded with how busted it is with uh, Shaman. Okay, Dragapult, the non-V version. Pretty cool card. You can flip to prevent damage and Phantom Force, uh, kind of like a mini. Uh, you only do, do three damage to your bench in any way you like, but that's still quite good. And then a Probo Pass for the zone up here. So, yes, if you do want to win the giveaway, uh, typical steps. Make sure that you are subbed to the channel. And uh, make sure you like the video and leave a comment down below with the hashtag. Uh, let's go with Turtle Fam. I think someone, some people put that in there when uh, they joined the Twitch chat, and I think that's a that's a good one. So Turtle Fam down below, and you will be entered. If you're kind of like in the U U.S., where it would be pretty easy for me to ship you something, uh, U.S. or near the U.S., uh, I'll probably cover the shipping myself. If you're kind of like international, we'll we'll talk and figure something out. Galarian Corsola, a pretty cool card that I do want to try as well. Uh, we haven't opened too many packs. All right, Parish Body. Basically, when you knock this out, flip a coin. Maybe you knock out your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, very nice card. All right, still haven't gotten a hit. Getting pretty cool cards, but nothing. Nothing too crazy. Tranquil. Horror Energy. These energies are great. Both of them are really strong. 
Uh, when there's double of these on Dragapults, with not too many good ways to remove them, that's really frustrating when you just attack them. They do 60 damage back, and sometimes when they have Giant Bomb on there, that is so much damage. So, very good card. Far-fetched. Vullaby. Sola. A Tranquil Reverse, and then, ooh, okay, Malamar V Max. Of our Hyper Rares, their only Hyper Rare we pulled up to this point has been a Malamar. And I could have sworn I put sleeves somewhere, but I don't see them, so I have to sleeve that bad boy up in a little bit. Alright, so we didn't get shut out, we did get our texture card, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, plenty of times you get an ETB that does not perform even to that level. So I'll consider that part for the course scoop up net. But yeah, so to enter, make sure you just like, sub to the channel, like the video, and put a comment down below. Hashtag turtle fam. All right, two packs remaining. I haven't run into a Syndrace yet on the ladder. But if you do play the game, online game, and you do want to win some packs, just uh, join us on our Twitch streams. We stream, ooh, Fat Lux, that'll be fun to play. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, starting at 7 p.m. EST. We're, we did do a live opening on Friday, and yeah, if you did manage to catch that or you liked how it came out, let me know, and maybe that'll be a regular thing. We've got another Phalanx. Galarian Weezing, when they first introduced this Pokemon, oh god, that's so silly. As long as Pokemon is an active spot, your opponents probably have no abilities. Oh, it's kind of like the, uh, what's it called? The Glaceon. All right, last pack for a, we'll call it about average ETB opening. Another horror energy. I think I like the lightning one better, but that one's really good. Been seeing that a lot. And some exciting content to come. We are getting really close to 1,000 subs. We'll do some special stuff when we do hit there. And got some cool mail day stuff coming in as well. Ooh, this is... Except for like the Dragapults, maybe this is the best V card. Uh, and with that, happy match. When you play this, basically, it's kind of like Lele, but from your discard pile, kind of like the the Mewtwo, but it's right to your hands and on top of the deck. Uh, you can't scoop up net it, which you can do with the Mewtwo with Aura and Guru, but this card is amazing. Uh, I think it's always going to be a one of, maybe two of in every deck. Grab that supporter back, grab that boss's orders, and keep using that. And there we go. Now I am very happy with the results of this box. But uh, yeah, if you do want to have a chance to pick up this guy, uh, again, just be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and put a comment down below with the hashtag TurtleFam. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.